Hello everyone. I just want to update you all on what's going on. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I am out of the hospital and I am home. So, so, so very thankful for that. My levels are still low, so I am basically bed rest, just trying to get healthy, taking prednisone. Um, doctor said my hemoglobin went up to 7.9. It went down at its lowest to 7.1. If it went below 7, I would have had to get a blood transfusion. So I am so thankful it didn't get to that point. And here's to hoping that it continues to go up and that the prednisone helps. I have been eating lots of iron and B vitamin fortified foods and a little bit of vitamin C and A to help that absorption and just I really am watching my my diet in that sense and making sure I'm getting the nutrients I need but doctor has me on 60 milligrams of prednisone for now until my levels go up if they go up more then I go down to 40 and I'm on folic acid and a pepsid plus all my regular lupus meds but basically they say you know it's just happening um and it's called hemolytic anemia and I'll probably if I'm feeling well enough do a video on that next week more in detail so you all can have information because this is something I didn't even think about oh hmm, maybe my blood levels or my uh, blood cells are low you know I I didn't even think. I had been feeling the whole month prior really weak and I'd get up, my head would be pounding, just very fatigued and I kind of just said, oh, it's just the lupus and which is true. We do feel like that a lot, but for me to have it weeks on ends, weeks, weeks, weeks on end and to just feel so weak and feel that blood you know, I was trying to get oxygen to my brain probably and it could have been really bad if I continued to push myself and I actually worked all last week and then I worked on Tuesday the day I got admitted and got the call while I was working and that's when it hit me. It was just like, whew. okay, I do feel that sick and that's when things got scary. So, <laughs> very surprised. The yesterday, or the day before yesterday, um, Wednesday, we didn't think I was gonna be getting out, and to my surprise, I was. And I think they want you to be out for the holidays as well, and just gotta be careful and watch myself. So, I will keep you all updated, and yeah. Um, I hope none of you are in the hospital. I know a few of you are, and that's never fun. Even if you are in the hospital, what I want people who don't have lupus to know is that just because we aren't in the hospital does not mean we aren't just as sick because a lot of the times they can't do much for us there. And I mean, I was there because if I needed to get a blood transfusion, I'd be right there and they're watching my levels. But we feel sick all the time and lupus is an ongoing illness along with anemia. Now I'm gonna have that for the rest of my life to think about, but yeah, we'll talk more. I hope you're all doing well. I got a little beat up, if you can't tell. I got this and all the little insertion points that are bruising. <laughs> It just looks not good. Yeah, but that's the least of my worries. So I'm thankful to be home, resting, and yeah, just thank you. Thank you for following me along and for all the love you shared in my last video. Everyone just helped lift my spirits, and I think that's one of the best things we can do for ourselves is to try our best to be positive because that's all we can do sometimes and it's not an easy journey all right don't forget to comment below how you're feeling and 
your experiences with this. I, I still want to hear about them. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.